Amparajita is asking, in step uh, four attention practice for initial one month is only concentrate outside strictly and also fixing an object and not keep changing it. Have I understood it right? You can change the object, I think. And the point is to divert the attention from the outside to the inside. That is one thing. And uh, second point is to discipline the attention. So we do recommend changing the object of attention from outside to inside. First, it should be some object outside, gross object. Then the bodily feeling, then the sensations in the body, and then the sound in the ear, something like this, half physical, half non-physical. And then, then some imagination or sound in the mind. And finally, you need to let go of it and remain as you are. That is the proper practice. But uh, what happens is, because of their old practices, people get tangled in the attention practice. So as the as they proceed on step four, I re- I actually reduce the practice. We don't increase it. We reduce it to zero and uh, focus only on the awareness practice, on the inclusive attention. And it must be done by only those people whose attention is very bad. So these two are the objectives of the attention practice. Like we say in the video, most probably it is mentioned in the video that without attention, there is no hope of awareness. What is awareness? That I am the experiencer of all the experiences, illusory experiences. And where is the attention for a normal person? It is drifting. It is not steady. Nothing is attended to actually. It's all mechanical, reactive life. So as soon as you attend to something, you obviously become aware of it. With the awareness should come this thought or a state of being that I am not this. It is a negative thought that I am not this. I am not that. Objects, not. Body, I am not. Anything, any thoughts, any feelings or emotions, I am not. This is the awareness practice. And the thoughts can be, look, all these desires are coming, all these thoughts are coming, all these feelings are there, the pain is there or pleasure is there or something like this. Hunger is there and the actions are happening. This is the state of awareness. Not being the doer, not being the thinker, but being the observer. This identification is the state of awareness. And it is helped by the attention. If you don't pay attention to whatever is happening, the mind gets nothing to be aware of. Even these thoughts will not arise and the inclusiveness will not happen. This is the point of attention exercises. And if the attention is not moved from the outside to the inside, inside means in the mind, then there is no possibility of awareness also. Introversion must happen. Like we say, look within. That must happen. Usually the attention is focused totally outside in the world. So to make it more inclusive, we recommend that you travel from the gross to subtle in steps. From gross objects to the body, from sensations of the body to the subtle objects, then totally non-physical and then none of the objects. If you include all the experience, what does it mean? It means you are not attending to something specific. And then you reach this open space of awareness. Whatever I call as experiencing or sad samadhi. And you taste it a little bit. Continue your life as usual in awareness. There is no need to extend the attention practice beyond 15 minutes or 20 minutes. No need at all. This is like weight lifting. There is no need to lift the weight whole day. 15 minutes, 20 minutes is enough. And then the muscles build up. Awareness is like walking. Yes, you can walk whole day, you can talk whole day, work whole day. That has no bad effect on the body. So hopefully the practices are clear. Graham is another message. This past week in awareness practice, there was feeling that no effort was required. Then there is concern that effort is dropping too early. The knowledge that I am the experience is solid. But other facts that follow... From that, I am not the doer, others are me, I am Shiva, do not automatically arise. How should we assess the need for effort in awareness practice in the experiments? It is very easy. If your bliss is lost frequently, 
if your peace is disturbed frequently then more effort is needed otherwise let it happen effortlessly very easy the scale or the instrument to measure your awareness is the bliss joy state of joy carelessness in all this higher qualities that arise compassion and so on love and so on and the dropping of pettiness carefree attitude that, these things are the measures and then if that is the state then no effort will be needed in fact if the awareness goes away after attaining these higher states then we don't worry because it is bound to come back the thoughts like i am not the doer and so on if they don't come then they don't come there is no need to bring them there is no no need to force them why this thought is not coming in my mind is that natural no and if the thoughts they come then you need to become aware awareness is most important not not the other thoughts the problem with this thing is that people try to do the awareness it is not possible awareness is above the action and awareness is above and beyond the thoughts so how can you bring it by this lower activity all you can do is surrender in the lower layers let go of the action and let go of the thoughts and you will find there is awareness so the more you try to do it the less the awareness will be because you will remain in the mind the point is to rise above the mind not to do let it be let things be as they are and notice noticing observing grahmi singh i have all those positive symptoms by your grace things going so smoothly worried just a little yes if there is no storm then the boat is you know already sailing nicely there is no need to bring in the storm that is the whole point we need to drop the practice as soon as possible just like we drop the attention practice we drop the awareness practice also there is no need to do it it should become your nature to be aware it should not remain a practice just like riding the bike if you keep practicing all your life how to ride the bike that is not very logical something is wrong there you should practice riding the bike for few months and then it should become your nature you sit on the bike and the bike runs it does not fall see very common sense very very simple why people can't understand the simplicity of the practice because of their past they are coming from the paths where the practices were so convoluted and so difficult and so you can say enigmatic mysterious that uh, they have dis- the, peop- the minds of the people are now completely distorted regarding what should be the practice so what i have done is i have cleared it up a little bit but still i could not make it this simple be that which you are one line practice no need to correct your behavior it will correct itself no need to change anything they will change themselves things will change themselves just observe whatever is happening should observe if no change happens that should be observed and if change happens that should be observed if this dream takes a good turn no problem at all and if it is going as it is smoothly no problem at all nothing needs to happen actually if nothing is happening you are simply aware best best thing and if there were lots and lots of impurities and lots of challenges in your life and they are now getting solved then also it is okay so some people will get this kind of explosive corrections done in their mind which is okay and some people because they are already pure mostly or they have minor things or it is you can say some imaginary impurities i need to be like this not like that because somebody else is like this imaginary uh, failure in self evaluation so that is not good so what do we recommend you practice for 3 months under me then your program ends or you move on to other things you see but continue the awareness practice in the background and drop the attention practice totally if you keep doing the attention for many years what is what does that mean probably it means that you did not understand what attention is why it is being done or probably it is producing some kind of reward in the mind with to which the mind has become habitual it has become dependent on this sitting practice and probably there is a notion in the mind that this is called spirituality 
to sit with the eyes closed is called spirituality that is the wrong notion in the minds of many people that is called a practice that is not called spirituality living your life fully in this moment in complete awareness is spirituality the awareness in the knowledge component makes ordinary life spiritual life remove the knowledge and awareness ordinary life it is so simple add all the practices and all these things yes like a lot of madness it depends on person to person what do they like to do in their life but that is not spirituality you are still doing there is still effort there is still compulsion to do it's not called freedom freedom is to let go and just be rajit is saying these attention practices triggered my earlier practices which i shared with you that day yeah that's why i recommend you know give up the old at least for the time being while you are in the program you should give up the old because what happens is people then they fall back into the old pattern and i hope that after 3 months 4 months 6 months whatever time you take the old will not be required anymore and that is my hope but if you still need to do the old then continue it after the program you see no harm some people were asking me should i join this new course should i do this new meditation and all and i said yes go ahead <laughs> you after the program you are the master of your will since the program requires a bit of discipline that is why people are stopped from doing whatever they are doing if it is something harmless then okay then continue or there are major problems in the life and there are some tantric practices and all so okay continue sometimes i add to their practices so this happened to one person that he said i cannot let go of worshiping the deities in my house i said add add the deities into your you know collection of deities like he had five or six of them <laughs> and it is old pattern to worship them because if you don't worship the deities what is the fear in the mind they will become angry on you and something bad will happen in my life superstition you see so could not let go of it i am in awareness i have the knowledge but i cannot stop this practice so okay i said add more you know add the photo of shankaracharya i said add uh, the picture of saraswati there and add more photos of ramand maharshi and all these people let your worship take the form of path of knowledge now worship the path of knowledge so i don't know what happened after that but uh, hopefully the uselessness of that practice was seen because when you are standing before the deities obviously you forget the path of knowledge so these more deities were included more gurus were included in the worship guru nanak and all this and then instantly the mind remembers oh, what am i doing here so sometimes some tricks are useful to get back on the path sometimes letting the practice old practice happen will be useful but not always 90% of the time they cause problems after getting the knowledge immediately there is a question what is the use of this knowledge it does not look like practical and obviously there is no use of it there is is not practical it works at the higher layers not the knowledge is not something which should be employed or which should be done it is not a you can say training of some kind that okay i gave you this knowledge now do this that is your indoctrination that if i learn something in the college and school now i need to do it but uh, the knowledge on the path of knowledge is simply clearing of the impurities clearing of the ignorance that's all it is purification of wrong thoughts see how simple it is i again and again i focus on simplicity no need to make it so complex that you are lost in the path of knowledge you know then what is the use of this path then <laughs> if this path is also doing the same that the other paths are doing what is the use of this path it is also making you go round and round and round in practices and some kind of lifestyle and so on wear this don't wear that eat this don't eat that and so it's there is nothing here simplify reduce let go minimize destroy this is the practice what happens is people cannot deal with this simplicity because the mind likes complexity so we have added the step number 4 after knowing after chapter 20 no need actually no need of anything 
after the self realization is there nothing is needed the naturally natural abidance should happen immediately and this has happened to many people i'm not saying that everybody fails no 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 very very brilliant people are there they hear me and the path ends there nothing needs to be done now in my case also i continued many practices even after realizing the true nature and so on because of the inertia of the mind and obviously the body continues to live so continuation of the desires fulfillment so this thing this wheel will come to a stop somewhere who knows and then slowly the letting go happens slowly we realize that this is a dream and no amount of fixing things in the dream works what works is waking up from the dream keep fixing the dream forever it will keep giving you something to fix the nature of the dream maya is such that it keeps giving you something to do something to fix this is the trap now you need to wake up let go of fixing everything we are not meant to fix it we are meant to leave it this much is very difficult for people very very difficult knowledge is easy yes give them the most difficult practice in the world easy ask them to climb the mountain very easy letting go is most difficult because of the inertia of the mind it has done nothing but accumulation since many thousand years probably million years who knows how many years you know the years are not meaningful many lifetimes it has done only accumulation to you cannot simply reverse it you see the train will crash if you stop it suddenly so we we'll let the train continue and then keep turning it in the reverse direction finally it goes round and then reverses back and the letting go starts and if this is not happening simply keep keeping the awareness on will turn your train backwards awareness is nothing but stopping and looking practices are letting the train run for a while same with the desire fulfillment i say fulfill it <laughs> why that is your nature that is what you do it, if you stop it suddenly it's like an accident crash so we break it slowly then turn it back and this happens naturally actually we don't need to do much keep the light on that's all <laughs> i ask no i i i lose it here and there and then you know after 3 hours of awareness there is no awareness for 6 hours i say no problem it is there there is forgetting that's all some people have this fear that i am going to lose my awareness forever i'll forget whatever i learned and remember that the learning that happened is not something which you should remember it is not a memorization of the teachings it is a clean up of the ignorance will the ignorance come back no if there is enough awareness it will not repeat that is why i keep giving this example of hot pan if you touch the hot pan do you worry that i'll forget that i need not touch the hot pan again you never worry about it it will not happen again and even if it happens yes next time it will not happen will you forget your real nature what is the loss in that you are eternal you cannot change so even the forgetting does nothing to the experiencer you have the proper impressions in the causal body and it will come back if it come back comes back after many lifetimes no problem at all because you have eternity how much is that the mind cannot even grasp what is this and it worries about small things that today i was not aware i forgot everything look at the eternity